What's great about being Scottish? <laughs> uh, we like to make excuses for losing. Well, we don't. We just drink our, uh, our excuses away and just then realise that we're just not good enough at the moment. But then when your manager, Gordon Strachan, who I appreciate in a certain extent for the, the what he did for Glasgow Celtic, horrible matchup for Scotland. Team selection crucified us from early on. So I'm not even going to discuss that. That's one reason why he's absurd. But I think in regards to excuses for losing, this might be one of the worst. What, what, what I do know, and you'll have to start thinking about this before you start, making it, genetically, we're behind. We're the, within the last campaign, we were the second smallest apart from Spain. So that means we have to pick a team tonight that kind of try and combat the height and strength. Even at that, we couldn't combat their height and strength at set plays. So genetically, we have to work at things. I don't know, we get big women and men together, see what we can do. Um, but it is a problem for us because we have to fight harder for every ball and jump higher than anybody else because it's easier for these kind of guys. Nobody tell me their technique apart from one player better than any others. But physically, the teams we've found over the, the last couple of years, physically we have a problem with that. But we seem to be able to fight it and battle it and get through just on sheer determination, skill and work rate. And that takes a lot out of you. And that's what's happened tonight, that these guys have put so much into this that is, uh, I really do feel for them. But, but they can also, go, as I said to you, they can be really pleased with themselves. Oh, so we're genetically not good enough. Right. That makes tons of sense, right? Because only big guys win games, right? Spain won a World Cup because they were all huge. Yeah, Iniesta, real muscular, man. Hits the gym every day. Held these on the protein shakes. Good for him. What a fucking ridiculous excuse, right? It touches on something that is just so absurdly obvious to everyone who understands football in Scotland is that they make excuses from the moment you're uh, grown into the Scottish football system, which I was part of. You're told you need to be more physical. You need to be stronger. You need to be able to hit that ball. You need to be able to hit your opponent. It, obviously, physicality is a big part of the game. Teams have won competitions by being physical. But... You cannot sit there and say that the reason Scotland has not qualified for another tournament since 1998 is because they're not genetically gifted enough or they're not big enough. That is so ridiculous. When Scotland was in, our, in its prime, they were hard, like under Craig Brown, they were one of the hardest teams to beat. They had guys like Colin Hendry. You think he wasn't genetically big enough to win games? Yeah, the problem was he was too big and couldn't move. And it's so, so many players like Chris Martin, seems pretty physical, can't control the ball, can't help. Can add up, can can put together a string of passes, and that's the problem. Now, comparing Scotland to Spain is I sweat because I'm so annoyed at this. Comparing Scotland to Spain is not an accurate comparison because we don't have Real Madrid and Barcelona to attract many players and youth and people to come and want to play football in that country. But oh yeah, who else plays physical but also relies on the ball on the ground? Oh, that's right, Iceland. Oh yeah, they qualified for the Euros and they beat England. Oh, what about Belgium? They're not exactly blessed with the best league in the world. Tell me a team in the Belgium that, uh, Premier League that you know of. Off the top of your head, really quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't think so. And elect, yeah, good job. So, uh, what's their excuse? Because they play the ball on the ground. They develop Kevin De Bruyne's. They have the Marion Fellaini's, but they also develop quality players. It's just absurd. It's an absolutely absurd point of view, which is often echoed through every stage of Scottish football, which has to be addressed, is that you can lump the ball from one end to the other, which we tried to do towards the end, and we almost got lucky with that. But it's not the excuse as to why we lose. It's the mentality of football. It's the fact is that we are inferior to our counterparts down south when we have the same amount of people playing the game. We don't have the same amount of people in population, but football is the only sport in Scotland. That's it. I've grown up in it. Yeah, rugby, albeit, but it's the main sport. And the reason why we cannot develop players good enough to go and win these competitions is because our mentality in Scottish football is around physicality. And I don't blame anyone who's done it. And there's players that have went on to do great things in doing so. But that's the reason, man. Like, I've played in that standard of football where you're told you have to beef up and brutalize people or else you're not going to get played it didn't work with spain and it doesn't it like they're genetically not big guys but they know how to knock the ball around again an unfair comparison but there's plenty of teams around the world that know how to keep the ball on the deck and they have a better pro a better chance of qualifying than scotland ever will whilst we have people like gordon strachan making that sort of excuses so there's my rant. I know you didn't expect a Scottish national team rant, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm about to go and sweat myself into another coma.